Hello, my name is Anisha Freeman. I'm also known as the locksmith because I make keys for locks in the mind. I'm recording this video on Saturday, August the 7th of the year 2021. Today is my clean day anniversary. I celebrate 21 years clean from drugs and alcohol. 21 years ago today, I was standing in front of a crack motel in Detroit, Michigan. And I heard a voice deep inside of me say, leave now, right now, or die here. I was standing there clutching a crack pipe in one hand and $5 in the other hand. I don't know about the drug trade today, but back in the year 2000, you could buy a crack rock for $5. This was a major turning point in my life. I was standing there trying to make a decision. That voice that told me to leave also told me that the grace that's been covering your life for the 15 years that you've been on these streets is being lifted today. You must leave now. And see, even with the grace that was covering my life, I had been beaten so bad one time till I did not look human for about two months. Even with the grace covering my life, I have been kidnapped and held captive for two days in an apartment by two men. I will not traumatize you by telling you what happened those two days. That's with the grace covering my life. I had to perfect the tuck and roll, which is the technique used when you have to jump out of a moving car. Tuck and roll. That's a skill set I should not have, but that goes with the lifestyle of drugs and alcohol and being on the streets. Even with the grace covering my life, I had those types of horrific experiences. So I stood there contemplating this life altering decision. Some people would think, well, that's a no-brainer. <laughs> Leave now or die here. But see, I wasn't just physically addicted to the drugs. And some people say that you cannot become physically addicted to cocaine. I beg to differ. Not only was I physically addicted, I was psychologically addicted to what happened in those three to four minutes after I smoked a crack rock. See, for those three or four minutes, I could feel comfortable in my own skin. I could express myself. I didn't care what other people thought about me. For those three minutes of artificial peace, I had sacrificed 15 years of my life on the street. I was medicating untreated trauma. I had been raised in a torture chamber the first 12 years of my life. I was raised by a mother who suffered with paranoia, schizophrenia. She suffered with obsessive compulsive disorder and she was also a religious fanatic. My babysitter was a pedophile. So I had a trauma-based belief system. My internal dialogue was horrible. I grew up hearing every day, you're stupid, you're dumb, you'll never be anything. You're a dumb Dora, a stupid hussy, and an ignorant slut. You can't do anything right. That was my internal dialogue. But when I would get high, I would silence that voice in my head for short increments of time. So the reason I stood there 
contemplating that life-altering decision on August the 7th of the year 2000 was because I was going to have to surrender to the process of healing. Healing for real instead of self-medicating for short increments of time. But I walked away that day. I dropped the crack pipe. I walked down the street two blocks to a gas station so that I could get changed for that $5 bill, get on the bus, and go to my sister's house where I would be safe. And that was the longest two block walk I've ever taken in my life. And I had to talk to myself all the way to the gas station. Keep walking, Anisha. Keep walking, Anisha. Don't turn around. Don't turn around. Keep walking. Today I am so grateful I have such gratitude that I made that decision that day. I'm grateful that God spoke to me in my spirit that day. I'm grateful for the grace that covered my life when I was out there. Since I've been clean these past 21 years, my life has changed drastically. I have two master's degrees. I'm a master's level therapist. I'm a motivational speaker. I'm a trainer. I'm a consultant. When I left that day, all I wanted to do was stop using drugs. I had no idea the quality of life that was available to me. The biggest change that has happened is I have healed from my trauma-based belief system. I am now able to do clean and sober what I used to have to get drunk and high to do. I can stand up for myself. I can express myself. I feel comfortable in my own skin no matter who I'm around or how they're acting. I am no longer controlled by other people's facial expressions, vocal tones, voice inflection, and body language. It was hard. The process of healing from my trauma was hard. But it was hard supporting a $300 to $400 a day crack cocaine habit for 15 years. I picked my heart. I picked my pain. Destructive pain versus productive pain. You're going to have to have a relationship with one of them. And I picked productive pain. And my life has changed beyond my wildest imagination. Today I celebrate recovery. If you're listening to me, if you're watching this video and you're struggling with an addiction, if you've lost hope, I'm here to bring you a message of hope and recovery and possibility. If the addict that the other addicts talked about, that was me. If I can get free, so can you.